Here's an experiment I did a few years ago and uh, just decided to do again. Um, it is uh, just demonstrating a, uh, a force of factor weight fluctuation based on the electricity being stored in this device which I made. And I'll show you how it works. So that's at zero, zeroed out. And well, I'll just crank it up here and you'll see you'll see the weight fluctuation happen. Every time there's a spark discharge. It almost looks as though it's getting lighter. There's a spark. A spike in weight drop. So here's the uh, periodic spark discharges coming off the Wimshurst machine here. So every time, I'll move it closer here so the discharges become more frequent. I was getting double digits there a few minutes ago. And it seems to be polarity dependent. Uh, just to, someone might be thinking, and I was thinking this too, well, if there's an electrostatic, there's a small electrostatic attraction from the wire to the table. But you notice if I push down on that, it doesn't change the scale at all. And as this charges up, the wire barely moves at all, so the force is very weak. And I have this up here probably like a foot above the table. So as far as electrostatic attraction goes between this and the table, I imagine it would be pretty weak. Um, so I'll just show you here, I'll switch the polarity quickly, and you'll see what happens on the scale. It almost like it looks as though it gets heavier, just because the scale reads a more positive, a more positive number. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, let me get closer together. It's like it goes negative as it charges up, and then when it discharges, it goes towards zero. Zero that out. There we go. I just moved the gap a little closer. See that? Spike to double digits. There again, spike. Double digits. Okay, so it settles down to zero. If I discharge it, okay, so we'll call that zero. It's really weird, so every time it sparks like the weight jumps up so it's like there's a force going downward like towards this this pole here and so this is all based on um, the Byfield Brown effect uh, what I've learned about 
Townsend Brown that's been out on the internet for years now and it's kind of like nothing new but I don't see many people doing um, trying to replicate the gravitator type device that he made I see a lot of those lifter things with the foil and the thin wire and people call that the Byfield Brown effect but uh, I think this is more in um, in line with what the Byfield Brown effect is which is like a capacitor or condenser charged to high voltage with a dielectric in between so we're not dealing with ion wind and that sort of thing and in here there's actually one uh, I have aluminum electrodes aluminum plates in there and one electrode here a larger aluminum block and then this is a, a mixture of titanium dioxide and uh, paraffin inside there right so just flip this around again so this is one of those kinds of um, topics that I think deserves a lot more research and development, a lot more attention than what's been given it. And um, especially with the claims that um, Thomas Townsend Brown main, made, I think it warrants a lot more, a lot more investigation. So I've read in other other sources too that there's a and in Brown's patents uh, he talks about the spark discharge whenever there's a, a sudden discharge uh, where the energy is released out of the condenser then there's a sudden uh, appearance of thrust or force on it so and that's what I'm seeing here I'm just trying to reverse this around here again Zero this out. So again, I reverse the polarity again, and now it's scales going negative every time. As if to say the thrust force is now going upwards so the thing is appearing to be this be lighter to the scale so I just moved these electrodes farther apart this thing is not in good condition right now like these belts are these are just elastic bands the original ones broke so I'm not getting a lot of uh, a lot of energy out of it right now. It's a great machine though. They're making high voltages. Let's see what happens with that. Spike to 10, minus 10. Oh, there goes the elastic. <laughs> Guess that's it for now.